So I want to just sort of throw out some terminology here. There's this concept of a modification of an object being done in place. And we see this with collections. So in this case, lst.sort is modifying lst in place. That's the way people will say this because once once dot sort is applied to LST, LST is different, right? It's in a different order at that point. And so we've modified it. As opposed to what we do with uh, sorted, right? If I were to do this, sorted of list, then list dot reverse, it turns out that we haven't actually changed list in this case. So if I run this, we see the original list, penguin, dog, cat, platypus, kangaroo, bull. That's not sorted at all, right? Because we have not actually changed LST. Now, we could change LST by doing this. LST gets written over by the sorted version, right? So LST gets sorted of list, or we could do what we did before and just do dot sort. Um, that's going to change it in place right, as opposed to not modifying it at all. And that returns us to our original bull, platypus, penguin, kangaroo, dog, cat, um, after it's reversed, of course, at the bottom. So keep that in mind. Uh, a lot of people get hung up on this. They, they get stuck on this. You know, I applied sorted to it. Why didn't it sort it? Well, it didn't sort it because you didn't actually sort the object. Now, if you want to sort, if you want to use sorted, you have to either overwrite the original object or write it to a new object, or don't use sorted and use dot sort instead. So that's this idea of modifying the object in place. You can either overwrite it, or you can use a method that will modify it and change its structure underneath.